Welcome to Let's Play Super Mario Bros. 2. Um, it's been a while since I uploaded a video. I'm feeling a lot better. You can tell from my voice. No sniffling, coughing, sneezing, coughing, aching, stuffy head fever so I can rest medicine. Nothing like that. I decided to do this one. Um, I'm actually recording the commentary after the fact because from, for some reason the commentary file recorded while the game was playing didn't save. But hey, maybe this time, you know, my uh, commentary will be a little better. So we've all played this game. It's a classic one from my childhood, one of the best looking NES games of all time. And um, it's not that hard. The difficulty level is pretty good. But here we go in this game it was originally a game in japan called doki doki panic and uh you got to pick characters as you can see here uh, i'm playing as uh, toad and the idea is pretty much to stop an evil um, dictator type guy who has taken over the land of dreams now one of the interesting facts is they added some mario elements to this when you collect enough cherries you summon a uh, mystic star that will come protect you um and the main um uh, power-ups in this game are stuff like you just saw power block if it hits the ground it'll take any enemies on the ground out um, the star of course but there are no uh, the mushrooms that you collect are in these kind of alternate dimension zones so that's pretty much the gameplay style here uh, this is not a speed run but I am kind of skipping a lot of stuff um, I am gonna use warp zones and in fact that's what this video is this is the video for the first warp zone um, again uh, like with all my ledge drives I'm using no tools, nothing to assist. Um, I'm just going straight through. And I keep everything, as people saw from my punch-out video. Um, so here we're, we're climbing up to the mountain, and we're getting ready to uh, make up more way up these, um, kind of these vines. And at the top, we're going to face the first boss. Um, interestingly enough, for those of you, I mean, most people are well aware of the Mario Brothers games, but uh, for those of you who don't know, this is actually, uh, like I said, a game called Doki Doki Panic. We did finally get the Japanese version of Super Mario Brothers 2, but not until years later in the Super Mario Brothers All-Stars for the Super SNES, or for the Super NES. Um, I might be doing that one if I can ever figure out how to get my uh, emulator to do AVIs there, so I can then import them to the Movie Maker and utilize Premiere, uh, et cetera, et cetera, to get some good visuals out of it. Um, so Berta goes down, and we hit uh, into the bird's mouth to end the level. At the end of every level, the coins you collect in the Minus Worlds, or uh, Minus Worlds, whatever they're called, um, can be utilized to um, play the slot machine and win extra lives. You really don't have a chance. you got to go through it. You don't really have a choice. you got to go through it. Um, and here we go again. I like Toad, honestly. Toad's my favorite character because he's... I don't know, he's, he fits more of the theme. That's because he's actually modeled after the original character for the game. This little Arabian dude. Um, but also, he's faster, it seems. And, uh, ooh, I got hit. Um, haha, take that bird boy. Actually, those aren't birds, those are like bees. But, um, I don't know, I've always liked Toad. Uh, maybe it's because he's fast. And here I almost screwed up, but I was able to sneak in the door. There we go. Grabbing our power ups grabbing some coinage which you have to pull out of the ground now which I mean you can obviously tell and ninja stars get it ninja stars oh bad pun Terry Pratchett oh, he'd be even rolling us over over in that one so here we go we're gonna go ahead and grab a uh, the key here we're gonna try to evade these guys they'll come after you but um, you don't have the key really long enough for that to matter and you're inside. Now here we run into the first instance of bombs in a Mario game. And those enemies, by the way, are called uh, Sniffits, I believe. And they would go on to appear in other Mario games later on. So here we are, blowing a hole. I probably didn't need to use both bombs. In fact, I know I didn't have to use both bombs. But hey, you know. Better safe than... Whoop! Avoid ya! Don't get hit. There you go. Go up there. Now you gotta find one of these things has a potion in it. And I had to find which one. And I miserably failed at that. But, um, it's because the mushrooms you pick up, instead of just making you big, actually give you more health. So, this was the first Mario game that had a health meter. And, I mean, I guess you can count the one from Super Mario RPG, but aside from that, this is the only one that had a health meter. Now, here, he can't quite jump up high enough, but a little help from our friend and some alley -oop. Now, there, this is interesting. Um, over here, you can get a, uh, a mystic potion open with those gateways, but it uh it doesn't seem to work as we're about to see we're right here. I thought that was kind of weird because you see I'm not getting coins, so I just left. You know I didn't care. Go over this guy, jump down here, head out the door, and 
we're up against our second boss. It's another Birdo. Um, Birdo actually always cracked me up because Birdo's confused. Birdo's actually a guy. Um, I don't know where I picked that bit up, but basically he's a transvestite. So, weird, huh? Those wacky Japanese. But hey, transvestites li need love too, I guess. So here we go, we grab it into the bird's mouth. I always thought it was kind of weird that you kind of get eaten and level, but I just try to, you know, ignore that and move through here as fast as we can. Um, I've racked up some 1-ups, which we are going to need. The early levels are cake, the later levels are a pain in the butt. And I am going to try to beat this one, because I know I can. I've done it many times before. So here we go, we're going to charge through here. I haven't played this game in about couple of years at least, I think it was the last time I played it, uh, one of my students actually brought it in like the Game Boy, and I was having problems on the ice levels with it. Which which is actually sad, because I actually like the ice levels in this game, which is normally not the case. Oh, and we're going to get our star. Now, I, I could have gone in the door here, I was thinking about it, do I want to go, do I want to get the star, you know, I could use the health, and I was like, ah, screw it. So there we go, we're just running, jumping. Action hero. Yeah, I hope this thing sinks up over. It really doesn't matter. Because, you know, y'all aren't doing this. I know that there's a thing up there somewhere. There we go. I got it. But then I, my controls were a little slippery. Which is one of the things. This game has a little bit slippery controls. Um, I don't want to get hit here if I can help it. And I know that there's a potion up here. I'm going to need it if I want to do what I'm about to do. There's the potion. But you don't want to use it. Oh, and I got nailed by Ninja Star, and I hope I didn't get hit which uh, anywhere else, which I didn't, thankfully. And I'm in the Minus World. Now, you might see I'm just picking up some coins, but aha. No. Warp Zone to World 4. And with that, we're going to go ahead and end this Let's Play.